This is the gate arrangement that I used to produce the latest graph I posted, the long rundown um, that approaches very nearly the rundown time of the disk without the stator magnet. Uh, I used the uh, Shimpo DT209X uh, uh, data logging calibrated tachometer. Uh, that's the tachometer target right there that I made. And uh, the disk is... Uh, uh, the, the motor drive is disengaged, I promise you that. It's not running. You can see it there. In fact, what I'll do is just uh, back it away so that it's not in contact with anything. And uh, we'll use Mr. Hand in the standard way to give the disc just a slight initial push through that gate and uh, as you can see it goes into the next one and gets pushed back and it'll rock a little bit there and when it's actually in the gate it cogs nicely and it'll actually rock back and forth like that for quite some time and sometimes even it'll uh, pop itself right out of the gate even in the cogging situation so Now if I give it a little push, like they do in Benini's lab, it uh, runs! See that? And I'm sure with sophisticated image analysis uh, you can uh, do the uh, tracking of uh, the small accelerations and decelerations as the magnet uh, uh, as the magnets approach proximity and leave proximity in the gate and between the gate. In fact, as the speed gets slow, you can even pick that up with your naked eye. Like that. So you can see that the speed is uh, uh, kind of constantly decelerating in the gaps and in the uh, gates there's a little bit of an acceleration and deceleration effect right? and then finally we get to the point where that last magnet can't quite overcome that last magnet in the gate is uh, oriented upside down uh, so that the retract pulsion uh, overcomes the repull traction yeah Thanks for watching. Oh, look at there. Whee! It almost wanted to go, didn't it? It was going to stop there, and then it just sort of went on. Where have I heard that before? Okay, uh, we'll just let it rock. I guess this is what is being called cogging. Uh, actually, the system is trapped in a potential well, a valley, right there. But it's not the lowest valley on the disk. The lowest valley on the disk is probably between the gates and the gap. All right, once again, this configuration of magnets, uh, when compared to the control condition, which is with the stator removed the, uh, and keepers on the magnets, uh, this configuration of magnets gives the best rundown uh, of any that I've measured so far. It is almost as good as uh, the uh, control condition. Control condition being uh, no stator, uh, keepers on the rotor magnets, 
experimental condition being uh, as you see it here. And uh, you can check out the graph of the tachometry on the OverUnity website in the usual place. And there's a little bit of a closer view of the gates. The black dots indicate uh, the pole polarities. The open circles are the opposite pole from the black dots. And uh, same with the stator magnet there. So we have uh, attraction and repulsion going on at the same time. Retract pulsion or repul traction. Right. Thanks for watching.